Are you tired of fighting with that annoying clear protective sheet on your project? And would you like to see your entire drill field as you're working on your project? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace both that annoying clear protective sheet and the paper sheet. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Janae and on this channel we go over unboxings, full post reviews, tips and tricks and recommendations just like this one. So let's head on over to the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to get rid of this clear protective sheet off of my canvas and exchange that with parchment paper. So parchment paper has some really good benefits while we're doing our projects. One, you can actually customize the strips that you have on your drill field. Two, you can see your drill field as you're working on your project, whereas you can't do that when you have the paper protective sheet on your canvas. And three, no more annoying plastic sheets. So you're going to need a couple of tools for your parchment paper. One will be a pair of crafting scissors like this, and a ruler. Now, the ruler will explain itself in just a second here. So the next thing you're going to need is parchment paper. So I have a roll of parchment paper. Again, if you've seen some of my videos, I talk about parchment paper a lot, and I find it um, far more easier on me while I do my projects. So I purchased this roll of parchment paper at Canadian Tire here in Winnipeg and I paid $7.50 for this roll. I've used it approximately 20 plus times and I still have quite a bit of it left. So for the amount that you pay for it, it actually is very inexpensive. So what I'm going to show you is when I put the parchment paper down, now I'm going to actually customize the strips, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the parchment paper from the end of this corner all the way over and I'm going to cut it the entire canvas length. Now you may think, oh wow that's a lot of parchment paper. Yes it is, but remember you're customizing your sheets so you're going to have leftovers and you can always store that. Take the end of your parchment paper Place it on your canvas, roll it across the entire canvas until it hits the ruler. That's the reason why I have the ruler there. So that way I can go ahead and cut right here and this roll is not going to roll off my table and believe me, it has a number of times and it's just annoying. So I've learned my lesson a couple of times put something back there and the parchment paper roll won't fall off of your table. So anyway, I'm going to move this up just a little bit here, there we go, and I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to start a strip, move this out just a little bit, I'm going to roll it out again, that way I have a little bit of space there and it's not going to roll off my table and I'm just going to slide my scissors up. So there's one sheet. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside Oops. and I'm going to do it again because I'm actually going to need a couple of these even though it's going to give me extras, I'm still going to need that because I'm not going to be able to protect up here if I don't. So we're going to repeat step one over. Again, pulling it all the way to the edge of the canvas. We're going to roll it out. Let that hit the ruler. So then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to make your first cut. You're going to move that parchment paper over again. Just roll it out a little bit. Okay. 
and start your cut. And bring it up. Put those away. So there are your two strips to start with. These actually are too big and my whole purpose of customizing my strips is so that I don't have to fold it back and forth and move it around. I want to be able to do a um, specific box or, or strip um, on my canvas and then if I decide, well, okay, that's all I want to do, then that's all you have to take off. So it really does help. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my parchment paper in half. So now we've got a, a box like this. So again, I'm going to fold the parchment paper in half. So now we've got a strip like this. Now for me, I still want to make it smaller. So then I'm going to take it and fold it in half this way. So now I've got a strip like this. If this is too big for you, I'll show you another way of shortening them up. But at this time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make these this big. So take your scissors and cut right on that crease. So you're just going to continue cutting on those creases. So here is one strip. I'm going to just put that off to the side because some of this will still need to be cut again on the crease. said if you want your strips smaller than this just fold it again in half and then you can have strips this size so I'm going to do a couple of these like this and the reason for that is, is just in case I need smaller strips to fit second strip that we're going to customize and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the film, insert some music, sit back and relax and we'll be right back. Promise. 
and you're going to be a lot happier. So we'll take this off. Now I do save my clear protective sheets and the reason why I do save them is I do use them in my portfolio separating pictures. So there is a use for them, just not on my project while I'm working on it. So here we go. We're going to take these bigger ones first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just find out where that adhesive whoops, is and how far it spills over the um, the border. Okay, so that will give you an idea of where to place your parchment paper. Now make sure that you put parchment paper on the entire area that's tacky. So I'm going to place it about an eighth of an inch from the border. Now as you can see, I'm, my finger is not sticking to any of the adhesive, so you know you've got that covered. So we're going to continue this step. Now when you place your next sheet over, you're going to just lay this parchment paper, or an eighth of an inch, over this square here. And we're going to continue doing this about an eighth of an inch. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want protection on your canvas. Okay, so I've got my first row of customized strips down. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this and fast forward the film, insert some more music, enjoy, and we'll be right back. parchment paper down and as you could see I ended up putting the narrow strips on the top and a customized strip right here and that was because the narrow strip was going to be too long so I just cut it in half and it fit perfectly. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is just make sure run your hand over the border or around the border just like this and you're going to see or feel if there's any area that you missed with that parchment paper. So I don't feel any tackiness, so everything's ready to go with this picture. But I also wanted to point out that with the parchment paper, I'm just gonna move the light a little bit there. With the parchment paper, you can still see the drill filled. And that is, an, to me, an added bonus, especially if you have the paper protective sheet on your canvas and you want to be able to see your drill field as you're working on it. It's a great alternative to the paper protective sheets and that again is if you want to continue to see your drill field as you're working on your project. And you might notice that I have plenty of leftovers, not just in this size but I also have leftovers in this size. So I'm going to store these away because I will be using them. And that is that is the really nice thing about doing it this way. You'll have extras and you can always go back to those extras later down the road. 
Now, I also wanted to bring out too that if you um, lift up your portrait paper and you start working on this um, section, let's say I'm just going to lift this up just to show you. So I'm going to work on this section here and see that it's just this one section that's ex exposed and ready to go. See how the parchment paper kind of rolls up. It's, it's not flat anymore. So what I do is I just kind of sit it down and I'm going to put something on top of it and I'm going to flatten that out. Now there's a reason for that because I can reuse that strip um, on many paintings. And that's the reason why parchment paper also is a great alternative to exchange those protective sheets that we have because this is going to last for a very, very long time. Also too, if you're a diamond painter that has made this a hobby and you have lots of diamond paintings that you need to store, Parchment paper is excellent for that as well. It keeps the moisture from building up between the protective sheets that we get from the stores and the adhesive. So parchment paper, you don't have that problem. Um, on a, a couple occasions, I have stored paintings that have had the clear protective sheets on there. And by the time I got to them, the um, adhesive started to bubble up causing it to lift off of the canvas, and then now you have canvas repairing to do. So um, I don't know if that's just the condition um, in our home that we may have too much humidity in the house, or if it's just because it was stored with that protective sheet long term. So it's, it's an experiment that I'm gonna start working on, just kind of curious to find out if in fact it has anything to do with the length of time it's been sitting, or if it's environmental. We'll go over that once I figure out uh, for sure if that's the case. So there you have it. That's how I set up my canvases for either long-term storage or just before I start that new project. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will get to you as soon as possible. So if you like the video, give it that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you didn't like the video, it's okay. But if you can leave me a comment below, I would love to hear what you didn't like about the video. That way it helps me improve my videos in the future. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. But don't forget to hit that bell. The bell will indicate when I've uploaded my current video. So if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is the afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very restful evening. Again, my name's Janae, and thank you so much for spending some time with me on the review. We'll talk again real soon.